guys and gals and all my non-binary friends. So today we're going to Massachusetts. And when I think about Massachusetts, I think about, uh, I used to be a huge New England Patriots fan, like a huge New England Patriots fan. It's because I had a crush on Tom Brady because I went to this like white boy phase when I was younger. And so I had a, the, I had the biggest crush on Tom Brady and it turned into a real interest into football. And so I became a huge football fan. I'm originally from Alabama. So of course I was already a like college football fan. And then, you know, Kaepernick happened and I found out like, oh, all these owners are racist, conservative ass billionaires so like fuck them and also i think tom brady voted for trump so i was like whoa you know how you know you can't hold on to all your heroes and that's okay let them go let them go girl it's okay i just probably offended so many people and i'm sorry but he no tom brady's gone so we can talk shit about him right that's fine right okay anyway i don't really care okay so massachusetts you guys have 11 electoral college votes again Fuck the Electoral College, abolish the Electoral College. It's just a way to keep democracy out of the hands of the many. That's all. Key dates to remember for Massachusetts is gonna be October 24th, which is the voter registration deadline. October 20th, which is the recommended date to have your mail-in ballot back in. October 28th, which is the vote by mail request deadline. So the last day to get, to request a mail-in ballot. Um, October 17th to October 30th, with this, which is the day before Halloween, is going to be the early voting dates. So please try to early vote if you can. Please mail in your ballot if you can and have it in by October 20th. And of course, November 3rd, which is the election. Are you ready for November 3rd? You cannot register the same day you want to vote, so register now. Leave this video. Forget everything I've said. Leave this video and go register. What are the vote by mail requirements in my state? In Massachusetts... In Massachusetts, registered voters will be sent a vote by mail application in September if they do not apply for a vote by mail application ahead of the state primary. Your ballot request must be received by October 28th. So again, try to get those requests, those ballots, all of those applications, everything done before October 20th so you can just be chilling on November 3rd. I'm does my state require my ballot to be postmarked or delivered by election day? If you mail your ballot, it must be postmarked by November 3rd and received by November 6th. What are my non-mail-in ballot return options? If you are hand delivering your ballot, you can drop it off at your local election office, an official ballot return drop box, or at any early voting lo location during early voting hours. Contact your local election office for the location of any secure drop boxes they have provided for your ballot return. You can check out Vote Save America for information on that. So if you don't know how to contact all those people, Vote Save America has amazing links and tools to get you to where you need to go. And you can also use it to track your ballot. So it's very, again, very useful. A1. There's a reason why I named the series after the website. It's amazing. What if I request a vote by mail ballot, but I decide I want to vote in person instead? Ooh. It depends. If you mailed your early ballot back and it was accepted by your local election officials, then your ballot is considered to be cast and you can't vote in person. If your ballot never reached your local election office or if it was rejected for some reason then you can vote in person so if you have not received your ballot by october 20th then use the ballot tracker on vote save america but also if you receive it before election day you can drop off your ballot in person at elections office but if you still haven't received it by october 20th you can cast a provisional uh ballot on election day uh, or early voting and again the early voting days are going to be october 17th to october 30th the day before halloween so please if you didn't mail in your ballot for some reason you didn't apply to get a mail-in ballot please 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 check out those early voting days because it's usually less people even though there are a lot of people early voting this year so please be safe and just mail in your ballots but if you're going to vote on election day wear a mask keep a social safe social distance from other voters and if you see any sus people trying to stop people from voting trying to get people out of lines before the, uh, the polling places have closed and there or if you see people trying to get people out of the line after the polling place have closed but they were there since the polling place opened check call 1-866 our vote because everybody voices deserve to be heard in massachusetts all 40 of your state senate seats are up so all 160 state representative seats are up so please are literally living in massachusetts your district seats are up so please 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 check out ballotpedia to get information on the candidates and who's running in your district there are no judges planned for the november 2020 election hey this is my favorite part
this is my favorite part. And that's going to be ballot measures. Ballot measures are so interesting and they can get us into the weeds of a bunch of different things. So I always get very excited when a state has ballot measures up. And also because it really is just like our democracy just right in front of us. Like you get to choose if a law is enacted or not instead of it going through all these people. The first ballot measure for Massachusetts is going to be concerns, access to mechanical data and a vehicle on board diagnosis or te telemetrics. A vote yes supports requiring manufacturers that sell vehicles with telematic systems in Massachusetts to equip them with a standardized open data platform beginning with model year 2022. That vehicle owner and independent repair facilities may access to retrieve mechanical data and run, run diagnostics through a mobile based application. So if you want data from your vehicle to be accessed and used to help you or for other people to use, if you're comfortable with your data being out there, you know, they say on a vote, yes, we we'll support that. So the second question is going to be on elections. Enact a ranked choice voting system for elections in Massachusetts, you guys. So I love a ranked choice. That's why I said these ballot measures they get us into all these conversations. So ranked choicing is when instead of choosing between a, um, so in the primary, let's take the Democratic primary, for example, instead of just being like, okay, I'm voting for Joe Biden, you would be you will be able to choose like, okay, this is my first uh, candidate. Then this is my second candidate. This is my third candidate. This is my fourth candidate. Basically, you, then you have a chance of, okay, even if my first candidate doesn't get it, I have, a, I have a second on the ground. So even if my first candidate, maybe a lot of people voted for my second candidate and now my second candidate has a chance. So ranked choice and really is just giving us better options and more of a choice, which again, uh, we love a democracy that works for the people. Yes. So I would personally vote yes. But those are going to be the ballot measures. Okay. In Suffolk County, you are the only ones with a municipal election this year for a register of probate. So if you need information, more information of that, of like what it is and who's running and all that stuff, check out Ballotpedia for more information on that. And you think, I think this is the end of the video. Cheers to me and you for all saying fuck Tom Brady. Yay for us. I'm gonna be so I like if I have been any people in Massachusetts who still are for some reason riding with Tom Brady, <laughs> I hope you still go out and vote. <laughs> but um yeah, take care of yourselves, take care of each other, <coughs> wash your hands, wash your face, wear a mask, wash your ass, and don't be an asshole. It's just that simple.